now the next thing is to retrieve and display the user favorite that is who f mark you favorite and who you marked favorite that is favorite sent and favorite received so for that purpose we will go and we will start implementing the favorite sent favorite received screen first we will implement the method where we will get the favorite list keys as you already know that the keys are saved in the database under the sub collection favorite sent and under the sub collection favorite received inside the users main collection so first we have to get the keys so we will say get favorite list keys First, we will get get the favorite sent favorite send document. So we can say wet Firebase file store dot instance dot collection users dot document the current user the current user favorite sent so we can say dot sub collection we will have the favorite sent dot get make sure to import the global dot dot where we have our current user ID so this will be the user current user favorite sent and the other one will be the favorite received so let's copy paste this and we can say favorite received now there will be a button on our this screen favorite sent favorite received on which the user will tap that is the user wants to see I am their favorite or favorite sent so a boolean type variable we will create and we will give it name as is favorite sent clicked and we will give it initial value true and if the user has clicked the is favorite sent that is if it has a true value it simply means the user wants to see the favorite sense that is to which people the user sent a favorite that is mark them as their favorite so in that case this code we will execute this query we will execute the rest of the code we will execute now of course and also the else statement which is if the user clicked the other button that is if it has false value then it simply means the user clicked the other button which is I am their favorite that is by which people the current user is marked as their favorite so in that case then we have to execute this query which is favorite received so in both cases we have to get the keys so using the for loop starting from the zeroth index it will execute up to the condition that is i will be less than the favorite sent document dot docs dot length so the this for loop will execute until unless this condition stands true that is one by one it will get each key from this favorite sent document which you know that all the sent favorite sent keys and the keys are basically the user keys user uid key to whom the current user or let's say to whom you sent the favorite 
so let's quickly initialize a list here to which we will add these keys so a list of type string as the keys are in string format so you can say favorite list but it will be favorite sent list so one by one we are going to get the key and add it to our favorite sent list so you can simply say favorite send document dot docs index i dot id so we are going to get the uids basically or you can say the keys of the user okay for the send favorite send from the favorite send sub collection and we are adding each favorite send id or you can say each favorite send key to this list this for loop will execute according to this condition okay which simply means that if we have four keys in the favorite sent then this for loop will execute four times starting from zero that is the zeroth index first index second index and third index okay up to third index it will execute that is get four keys and add it to this list so this list will be populated with four keys or you can say four ids similarly in the same case for the favorite received but here we have our favorite received document and the list we have it will be favorite received list so the favorite received keys we will add to our favorite received list as I told you that is you already know that okay in the previous video we have tested the application these keys are basically the user ID who basically uh, sent favorite or who basically received favorite okay so these are basically IDs or you can say the user ID as a key it is saved inside the favorite sent and favorite received sub collection so according to these keys as we have get the keys so we will basically now get the information for these keys what I mean is we are going to basically for example for the favorite received this key we are getting okay this is inside our list so this key information we have to get so for example this key belongs to this user okay KF and this is his information and it is John Parker so we have to get this information for each key from the favorite received list okay so what we can do we can simply call here a method which will be get keys data get keys data from users collection as you know that the user information each user information is inside the database under the users main collection so let's implement this method here and to this method we will call the key and uh, the list the favorite sent or favorite received so this method we will call inside the if else condition so for example if it is the favorite sent and outside the body of this for loop outside the body of this for loop we will call this method and we will pass the list which is our favorite sent list just like this and if it is the favorite received then we have to pass to it our favorite received list inside the else statement after the for loop body we can say favorite received so this method we are calling from here okay so as you know it will receive a list which is a which is of type string we can give it name as keys list so that list we are receiving here by the parameter name keys list you will get all users documents
so we get all user document and we assign it to this all user document variable now it contain all the document okay so what we are going to do is the keys list which contains specific keys who mark favorite sent or favorite received okay so from the favorite sent or favorite received depend upon the condition okay from where we call this method so you know that it contain the keys so only those keys or only those user information we will get whose keys are inside this list okay so only those information we will get from all users collection whose keys are inside this list okay because only them are inside uh, the either the favorite sent list or either in the favorite received list okay so only those keys okay which belongs to the user so only those users information we will receive from the all users whose keys are inside this list so for that purpose we will run a nested for loop this inner loop will execute up to the length of keys list either the favorite sent or favorite received so we have two nested loop what we have did here let me just explain quickly the output for loop will execute according to this condition according to all user records which we are fetching from the database okay so let's say if we have 10 users in the database then outer for loop will execute 10 times so the inner loop will execute according to the according to this condition which is basically the list of either favorite sent or favorite received keys okay you know that inside this list we have those keys so what we are doing here is that first first of all we pick first of all we pick the uid we are comparing okay we get the uid or you can say we compare the uid from all user document that is from here first we get the first user uid okay the first user uid we get and we compare it with the keys list that is this list one by one okay so with the keys list first key we compare then the of course as you know that you have i hope you have better understanding of the nested for loops how nested loops actually work so first it will execute uh, first it will compare the key from the all user document it will compare the first uid with this key list key and then let's say if it match if it become equals to this then it will add that key to a list which we will create now we will give it name as just favorite list favorites list so we will add that key to our that list and this will be a list of remove this type from it okay as you know that this will be a dynamic list because we are getting the whole data of a user from the user's main collection and we are adding it to this list so you know that that information is in the format json or you can say in map format so that user whole data we add to this list so as i told you guys that is if the key matches to the keys to the first key from that list if it become equals to each other then add that first user record to this list otherwise if it do not matches then it will skip this okay it as the if condition will stand false so it will skip this and the inner loop will go for the second iteration then the second key will be compared to the user id if it matches then okay 
otherwise if it do not matches then again it will skip this and it will go for the third iteration let's say for example in the third iteration the third key from the keys list matches with this id so only then it will go inside the if condition and it will get that whole record beside that key that specific key which matches for which the condition stands true so that user record we basically add to our favorite list similarly it will carry on now let me tell you in simple words what we have done just let me give you a small explanation about the nested for loops first of all in a nested for loop first starting from the outer loop okay when the first iteration which is i equals to 0 it will come inside here okay and it will start executing for loop let's say if the length of this keys list is 3 then first it will execute 3 times okay this inner for loop will execute 3 times and let's say under that if this condition stands false then it will get that record okay and it will add it to this list then it will come again to the outer for loop then you know i plus plus so i will become equals to one at that time for the second iteration so for the second iteration then it will come inside and it will start executing the inner for loop again as you know for example uh, the length is three okay let's say it has three values i already told you guys so this inner for loop will execute three time again let's say within these three iterations uh, this condition stands true okay let's say at the second iteration the condition stands true so it will get that record that second record from the user's main collection for that specific user for whom this condition stands true and that record will be added to this list then again it will go for the outer loop and outer loop i will become equals to 2 so it will become the third iteration so for the third iteration the inner for loop will execute again three times and so on so let me tell you in a nested for loop for each every outer loop uh, iteration each outer loop one iteration the inner loop will execute fully until unless this condition stands false for example if this list has length 3 okay and if this outer loop this has length let's say 4 time okay so for one iteration this for loop will execute 3 times for second iteration of this this for loop will execute three times for third iteration of this loop this inner loop will execute three times and for the fourth iteration of this outer loop this inner loop will execute three times okay so for each iteration for the outer loop the inner loop will execute three times and we use nested for loop the reason for this you already know that we are comparing the keys to our key uh, to our information or you can say to the keys which is coming all the way from the user main collection okay so from the user main collection we are comparing the uid that is the first record uid we compare to our all these keys okay that's why for outer loop one iteration the inner loop will execute three times according to our example okay if the length of this is four and if the length of this is three so I hope you understand this so what we get at the end I mean as a result of this uh, iteration we get the data earlier we have only the keys however now we get only those user information from the users main collection we get only those users information who basically has favorite sent or favorite received okay so this list contain the favorite sent or favorite received complete information complete information which we can display here on the user interface so now we can simply display that data which is inside our favorite list in here on the user interface